Uh, I'm Sarah Dittrich. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, my residency here at Bemis has been from January through March 2015. And uh, I'm an interdisciplinary artist that works with everything from performance to video and electronic technologies. The process of incorporating music into my work was a it was, I don't know, it was natural. It, it actually began, uh, this was when I was still in band and like loved the saxophone and I started making paintings of the saxophone. That's when I guess I really made the connection of uh, incorporating instruments, like creating exaggerated instruments out of wood. And then that led to collaborating with composers to create more performative works. And then that led me to using video to document those performative works. So it's kind of been this very natural progression of using different mediums, but they all tend to relate back to music or sound or how the body relates to how um, sound is created. I find the element of collaboration is sometimes the most rewarding part of my practice because it's really nice when you have this exchange of knowledge uh, from two different people with two different backgrounds and you can kind of inspire each other in new ways. Electronics are really frustrating for me because I don't have, I'm not super knowledgeable. I like know enough to see the possibilities, but I can't realize it myself without the help of someone else. So here at Bemis, I've been collaborating with a programmer uh, named Jason Webb, and he has been uh, really great in working with me um, on some of these electronic projects. Right now, we're working on a piece where basically my footsteps uh, wirelessly connect to a kick drum and so we're working using this new wireless technology where the range it's similar to Bluetooth where the range is one mile uh, so anywhere I walk within one mile of this kick drum my footsteps uh, will be beaten by the kick drum. I tend to have this very kind of minimal austere aesthetic to my work and I think that just comes down to trying to create this like Neutral, I guess nothing can ever really be neutral, but um, just really paring it down to what what needs to be there. There's nothing extra or nothing's there that's like not essential to the piece. So the element of scale in my work has always kind of had this element of absurdity, but it began with me thinking a lot about just creating an object that would force two people to come together and have to work together. So I started making some, some like my exaggerated feet that I didn't expect. I used a new material called cellulite clay, uh, which is kind of like a more sophisticated paper mache. And it's, I found it was really great for making these feet to wear because unlike plaster, it's not as heavy and uh, it's still really durable. I think it's it's been really nice to kind of have this just space and especially having the equipment uh, to work and just time is really nice.